And everybody is set for this matchup between the Baltimore Ravens and the Seattle Seahawks here at Century Link Field. AFC versus NFC as kickoff fast approaches, Phil. Well, we have two teams that don't know each other very well. And when you don't know each other very well, you play cautious. And when you play cautious, you don't play as well as you should. So it should be a high-scoring game. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. Tackles made right. Around the twenty five yard line. Smith lined up now as a slot receiver. And Rice is going to receive the toss. He's brought to a halt. Well, I know it's a short run that time by the, by the offense, but it's what it's going to do for you long term. Keep running that football. Try to wear the defense down. Second down after... Going to the ground game, the first play. Wasting no time. Here's the toss to the outside. Nice chunk of yardage picked up by Rice. And they're really setting the tone here early with the big running play that time. They took advantage, Jim, of a defense that's out of position. Nice job by the running back taking advantage of it, and he picks up big yards. And here we are covering the Baltimore Ravens. We were on that ride with them covering all their games last year during the playoffs. On their way to winning Super Bowl 47. What do you expect out of the Ravens this year? I think it's going to be different for the Ravens this year, Jim. Finally, they got over the championship game, got to the Super Bowl and won. Now, all offseason, everybody's been patting you on the back, telling you how great you are. It was a short offseason, too. I think it's a lot to overcome. They're going to have to show some special toughness to get this done. Shifted from tight end to a receiver in the slot. And he's going to be brought down. Well, you see it all the time. When the offensive line can't stop the defensive pass rush, then you have your running backs hit a defensive lineman before they go out for the pass. Third and 17. Under fire all day. Well, they better change the way they're blocking my man on defense because he is getting it done. That is two times in a row he gets a sack on the QB. Throwing now to his left. They fail to convert here on fourth down. Well, you got to live with this decision now, big guy. You go for it on fourth and long, it fails. Probably going to give up some points because of a bad decision by you. First down all the way. Looks to his left. Hands the promise land. Touchdown. Good job that time by the offense. Scoring that touchdown and putting him ahead. And when you get ahead in a football game, the National Football League, it makes you relax and you play better. The point after is good. The Ravens return team is ready. up at that point.
and Weiss is a running back normally, but this time lined up as a receiver in the slot. Flacco's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Has the reception all alone. He's got the touchdown. Well, here we are. It's a tie game now. We'll see how the teams react to it. Will it be positive or negative? Ravens getting set for the extra point. The driving extra point is good. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. Baldwin's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Baldwin's going to pull in the bullet pass. Perfect defense call that time. They allowed the catch. The coach on the sidelines going, well, what else do you want me to do? We had the guy double covered, and you still couldn't make the play. The give to the running back. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Second down now. Wilson's going to take it from the gun. Pass is made, and it's incomplete. The hit jars the ball out. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit and knocks that football loose. They face third down after the incomplete pass. Harvin's got it on a pass that had some heat. That's a terrible job by the defense in the gym. I mean, you, you got third and over 10 yards. You don't get a pass rush. You don't cover them down the field, and you give up the first down. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Looking for Percy Harvin off the mark here as this throw heads out of bounds. This will be second down. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Makes the catch. Touchdown. What a tough throw and catch into a tight spot right there for the touchdown. But in today's game, these players are so good that you have to throw it in traffic. they got to make the catch. That time he did. Extra point is good. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. He's got a chance to return this one. And he's going to be tackled right around the 37. <laughs> and Rice is a running back, but he's in the slot for this play. Flacco from the shotgun. He wants to go deep. Brandon Browner with the interception. Tackles made. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. First and ten. Peloti Nata takes the quarterback down. Well, we know one thing. If you're a defensive tackle, you got power. And it was on display that time. Wonderful job by the big fella. Busting through there and get the sack on the QB. He's got the grab, and he's got the first. Quarterback's not thrown enough in this league anymore. A lot of teams don't do it because it takes a strong arm quarterback to get it done. That was a terrific throw up the field that time. 
That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Looking for Percy Harvin, but it's incomplete. Uh, take no chances when the football is thrown in the end zone. Don't go for an interception sometimes. You could kick the ball up in the air. Hey, don't do that. Knock it down. It's a two tight end formation. Second and ten. Goes deep to Sidney Rice. Did not get both feet down. Good try. Throw it deep down the field. It's a beautiful throw, but he just goes incomplete. It'll be third down. Heaving it down the field. Six in the books. What a good job by the wide receiver. Just going up and attacking the football. And you know why they can attack those footballs? Because they know they can't be hit. They're defenseless, so they get a free chance. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. And Rice is lined up in a single back formation. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. Timeout called by the defensive unit. Joe Flacco will take it right from the center. First and ten. He gets the toss. Running play went for 11. Ray Rice can beat you so many ways. He can do it by catching the football in the passing game. But when they hand it off to him, he's small, but he's quick and fast, and he can avoid tackles. Nice job picking up big yards. Ray Rice lined up in the backfield. Quarterback flips it to the running back, spins away from contact. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying, we're tougher than you are, and we're just going to come right at you. Second down following the run. Flacco will take it from the gun. Throws to the right. Tipped away. He did everything right, didn't he? The quarterback that time. He was physical. He stayed on the wide receiver. He was reading the quarterback. So it was easy for him to knock the throw down. Joe Flacco will take it right from the center. Third and six. Action fake. Just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. This will probably be the last play of the quarter. Flacco standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Ooh, they failed to pick up the first, and the ball will go back to the other side. And since rain is often a factor at the Seahawks' home games, over 70% of the seats here are covered by the roof line.
First down coming up. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Has the catch, but the feet are not down. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against his cover two. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. The Seahawks bring in an extra tight end for this play. Second and ten. Looking to go deep. Caught it, but he's out of bounds. They went for the home run ball there, Phil, but just could not make the play. Yeah, you want to do this. You always want to throw the football deep at least four or five times a game because you want to make the defensive backs uncomfortable. If you let them get comfortable, they'll start jumping those short ones. These guys won't do that anymore now. Third and ten. Getting sacked. When you're the quarterback and you see a blitz, you got to know you got to drop back, look at a receiver, and let it go. No hesitation he is allowed. He hesitates, and the defense gets the sack. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Russell Wilson hits Zach Miller with that throw. I guess that's how we're going to be today, isn't it? Uh, we're just going to go for it on fourth down. That time they go for it, and they get it. Good job. First and goal. Marshawn Lynch takes the football. A tackle behind the line. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Running a little into the end zone for the touchdown. Well, you got a lead. Now you're able to go out there and drive down the field and score a touchdown. This changes how the other team is going to manage the game from here on out. Inside of the uprights. The Ravens' return team is ready. They're setting up the return. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. Pittas playing out of position in the backfield here. Flacco from the shotgun, looking to the right side and throwing. It's intercepted! When you get an opportunity like this, you want to take advantage of it. The defense did. The opportunity was there. They get a chance to intercept the football. They do. Now can their offense take advantage of this situation? The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Miller's got it on a pass, had some heat on it. That time the pass is completed into double coverage, Jim, but the quarterback made a bad read. But these receivers, they are so good nowadays. That time in double coverage, he went up and made the catch. It's like Bill Parcells said to me once about Mark Bavaro, a very talented receiver. He goes, remember, Sims, when he's covered, he's open. This play set up by the long gainer. Counter run here. He's headed right. Touchdown. They're just running it up. You got to give the offensive line just a lot of credit. It's first and goal. They just line up and power the football in there. Nice run, but a great job by the O line. Makes the PAT. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff.
and Rice is out in the slot. First and ten. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Intercepted. No stopping him now. That's a touchdown. You got to love that from your defense. They take a chance. They get the interception. Not only do they do that, they return it a long way for the touchdown. The point after try is in the books. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. He'll start his return. And he's tackled right at about the 28-yard line. And Rice has shifted from running back to a receiver in the slot. Incomplete. The Ravens with an empty backfield look here. Goes back in shotgun formation. Complete. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. Looking long to Torrey Smith. Brandon Browner with the interception. A nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. Baldwin's lined up in the slot. They're setting up screen. He's going to be tackled right around the 49. Good route that time by the wide receiver on the out route. Nice throw by the quarterback. This is what they call a timing route. Well, they were right on time. Here's the first snap after the big play. Handoff, running to the right. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. Baldwin's a receiver in the slot. And out of the shotgun. Peloti Nata takes the quarterback down. You're talking about a bonus. When you get a defensive tackle that can get in the backfield and sack the quarterback, that is something special. Great job that time by the big D tackle. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. Backed up into third and 15, looking across the middle, almost intercepted that time. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. The punt team is in place and ready to perform. Signal for fair catch. Now in first down, handoff to Ray Rice. Left side. Good job by the defensive line, standing in there, fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. Yeah. 
Second down coming up. Quarterback tosses it to the outside. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. And we've reached the two-minute warning. set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Quarterback, quick toss to the outside. Going to lose yards here. Well, the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. After running it, it's second down. Second and 14. Flacco flings it way down the field. That ball has been picked off. That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. Baldwin's in the slot. Now first and ten. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. So many things you can do on first down. And what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Wilson's got it in the gun. Tipped away. Got to give the secondary credit. In this passing league now, it's hard to make plays, but a good play there in another incomplete pass. <laughs> Offense lines up here. Third and 13. The Seahawks get a first down. When you have a quarterback to control the football like this guy, even though it's third and 10 plus yards, he makes a nice throw for the first down. They've got a first down now after that catch. Wilson's going back to the air on this play. On the spot. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Gets a hand on that one to knock it away. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football's arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. Play number six coming up on this drive. Setting up a little screen. Not a completion this time. That brings the play to an end. Well, when you talk about throwing these sideline routes or the out route, it is about timing when that receiver makes that break to go towards the sideline that football has to be in the air nice throw and catch that time first down here after the completion he's looking to the right here on this throw the blowout continues another touchdown something you always got to be alert for nowadays in the nfl the fade route the defense caught off guard just a little bit nice throw Nice touchdown. The Ravens' return team is ready. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. snap and we'll head to halftime they're gonna get
get him this time. Well, that's a good job by the defense that time, getting the sack on the blitz. And when you blitz, you're taking a chance. You better get to the quarterback, and that time they did. Browns lined up now as a slot receiver. Flacco's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Ball is caught. So that's going to do it here for the first half. Seahawks are up here in this one. Let's check in on the sidelines. Danielle Bellini is there. I got a chance to quickly speak with Coach Harbaugh during halftime. The time of possession is completely one-sided right now in this game, guys. And Coach told me his team has got to turn that around. He said they have to put together some sustained drives and stop putting such a burden on their defense. So, guys, we'll see if it happens. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. in the slot here for this play. The third quarter begins with this play. Oh, it almost picked off that time. A lot of athleticism on display right there. Two battling for the football and no one able to come away with it. You said it right. Two tremendous athletes, but a good job by the defense that time. They won out. Second down here, out of the gun, eyeing that left side, secures it with two hands. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. When you're behind in a football game, all you can do on the offensive side is just go out there and thinking about making plays and picking up first downs, good job by the offense. Always aware of the change. He's got the catch, and he's got the first. Well, anytime you're in the red zone, you want to punch it in and get that touchdown. If they do that, look, they're still, they're still going to be behind, but it gives them confidence moving forward. First and ten, Rice. They break through, tackle them behind the line. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Pittas in the slot receiver role for this upcoming snap. With He's in for the touchdown. Jim, I'm going to borrow one of your cliches. They can only score one touchdown at a time. They're getting blown out, but way to keep focus, drive down the field and score. And the extra point is good. They're lining up here for the onside kick. The onside kick is turned away, and the receiving team has it. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. They tackle him for a loss. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Ravens come out in a dime package. Second and 12. Screen pass. Makes the grab. Five, maybe six out of that. Well, that's a nice completion by the offense. And what it does, it just puts them in a more manageable situation so they can pick up that third down. The completion sets them up now for third and seven. Setting 
up screen. Russell Wilson has his man. It's Percy Harvin on the receiving end. Terrible job by the quarterback. It's third down. You throw it short of the markers. Well, you get a completion. That's great. Uh, you're really accurate. But there were guys open down the field. Take a chance and go for it. Good. You got to take advantage of good field position. The offense doesn't do it that time. I know they get three points out of it. Nice kick, but still a letdown for the offense. The receiving team has the recovery. Brown's going to get set in the slot for this snap. First and ten. Flacco flings it way down the field. And that ball's nearly picked off, but he dropped it. I think that's the hardest pass a defensive back has to defend. The long throws down the field. You have to wait to the last second to make your play. That time the defensive back did it. What a play. Smith's lined up in the slot. Flacco's going to take it from the gun. Makes the reception. Spins away from the tackle. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing league, so we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first down. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. Flacco will take it from the gun. Going across the middle, he had no time to get set. They'll try over again on second down. He brings it in here, and he's got the first. This is where games are won and lost. Once an offense gets down the red zone, even though they're down more than seven, can you find a way to punch it in there for the touchdown and not settle for a field goal? First and ten. And the give now to Ray Rice. Going to be a tackle for a loss. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Hit a, it's a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. What a hit, and the ball is dropped. Anytime your team is down, you're inside the other team's red zone, you look for one of your star players, your quarterback, wide receiver, or running back. They need to make a big play here. Play number six coming up on this drive. Flacco from the shotgun. Pass is made, but the hit knocks the ball out. Incomplete. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long. Not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Should be what we call a gimme. Great field position, Jim. You got to take advantage of it. The offense didn't do it. I blame the coach. Those were terrible play calls, but a good kick by the kicker. That kick came right at him, and it looks like the receiving team has recovered.
the Seahawks line up in the pistol offense. First and 10, running back, gets it on the handoff. He'll go to the left. Good job that time by the offense. Powell run, gets him a few yards. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Second down and two. The handoff, running behind the tackle. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block, and then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get in the secondary and make a big play? First down here after the run. He'll fire it out to the left. Off the mark. Ah, the defense got away with one that time. It wasn't a good play in their part. It was just bad timing by the quarterback and receiver. That's second down coming up. The reception, easy, wide open. Once again, this offense in the red zone. This defense has been awful all day long. Can they can they bow their necks a little and show a little toughness and maybe stop them this time? Let's see how they back up the big play here. The quarterback. Ah, oh, you just love it as a quarterback. You get down in there and it's first and goal, and you score. Now you don't have to sweat the fact that, man, what are we going to do if it gets the third down? You don't have to worry about it. Good run, nice touchdown. Add the extra point, the kick is good. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. begins his return gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24 Joe Flacco will take it right from the center. First down and 10. Throws to the right. Almost intercepted. This is frustrating for a coach. You call a play, you get the receiver down the field on a corner route, and your quarterback cannot put it on the target. A receiver in the slot. Tight end in motion. Second down, 10. Nice job that time by the defensive player. He is all over the wide receiver in this man-to-man -man coverage, and there was just nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. And Rice is in the slot, not in the backfield for this play. They motion the receiver around to the other side. Flacco standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Incomplete as that ball sails out of bounds. <laughs> 
and Rice is a running back normally, but this time lined up as a receiver in the slot. Flacco's back in shotgun formation. That catch, good for a first down. Well, they're a gambling football team. They like to take chances. Even though they're down, it's in the second half. They take another chance. They go for it on fourth, and this time they got it. Welcome back. We've got a blowout in the making. Pittas move from the tight end position to the slot. The final quarter begins with this snap. That's a gain of eight. Well, that was a nice job by the offense. It just puts it in a better position. Nice little throw and catch. So they complete that one, yet it's still second down. Flacco flings it way down the field. Ravens in the end zone. You got to take advantage of situations like this. Not often in the NFL do you get somebody this wide open. Good job by the receiver. Nice job by the quarterback seeing him. And what do you get? An easy touchdown pass. The Ravens with the PAT to come. And the point after is good. Ravens getting set to kick it away. Stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. They come to the line, and it's first down. To give to the right side, bringing the play to an end. Offense lines up here. Second down and four. Screen brings it in. On his way. The 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown. One thing the defense doesn't want to see, yards after the catch. Yak. And that's what we saw here. The quarterback put it right on target. The receiver is running full speed, catches it, and takes it all the way for a touchdown. Extra point was good. That's a timeout call. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. Touchback. And Rice is lined up directly behind the quarterback here. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. First and ten. Tosses it to the running back. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Tossing it to the running back. And it's Earl Thomas who brought him down that time. Safeties down the NFL have to cover like a corner, and they got to tackle like a linebacker. And that time the safety came up, and he tackled like a linebacker and stopped that outside run. Third and 11, play action. That ball is going the other way. And he's brought to the ground. Anytime you're backed up on the offensive side, the quarterback's got to be extremely careful because if you turn it over, you're just giving points 
to your opponent. That time, a bad decision by the quarterback, and he throws an easy interception for the defense. First down here. The defense gets a sack. Quarterback looked all over the field. He's trying to find somebody that's open, but there is nobody open. Coverage sack that time by the defense and a job well done. Go run it off the toss. That'll stop the play right there. Third down here. Offense trying to pick up the first. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Knocked down. Anytime you get a chance as a defender in your own end zone to knock it down, that's what you do. Nice play by the defensive guy. No, it's not. It's a fake. Looking to the right side and throwing. Drops the pass. This decision sure will be second-guessed by the reporters tomorrow. You're winning, you got the football, it's in the second half, and you go for it on fourth down. Why do you do this? You make a try, it does not work. you got to hope your team bails you out for that bad decision. Smith's in the slot. First and ten. Handoff to Ray Rice. They tackle him at the 26-yard line. Offense lines up here. Rice. It's Earl Thomas who makes the tackle. Good job by the safety diagnosing the run, getting up outside and making the tackle for a short game. And Rice is a running back, but he's in the slot for this play. Out of the shotgun formation. He'll throw it over the middle. Forces a three and out. All you have to do is watch the head of the receiver. When they drop footballs, usually it's because you can see their head move the other way before the football gets there. That's what happened this time, and it's a drop pass. And Rice is out in the slot. Flacco will take it from the gun. Change of possession coming up as they fail to pick up the first down on fourth down. Two tight ends on the field here. First and ten. They'll go ground to the 25. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. Second and nine, working that left side. The pass is intercepted. Fights off the hit. In on the stop. And a touchback. They face first down. The wide receiver in motion. Pierce is going to secure the football on the toss. 
nice tackle. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. We've hit the two-minute warning in the second half. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. Gains, 17. Nice job that time by the ball carrier, getting it just past the first down mark. Big first down, keep the chains moving. And Rice has shifted from running back to a receiver in the slot. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. Flacco's got it in the gun. Trying to work that left side. Rocks him with that hit. And the ball's going to fall incomplete. That's interesting as you watch the receiver trying to make that catch. He knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. Brown's lined up now as a slot receiver. And second and ten. Reaches in, knocks it away. Safeties are taught so much. Diagnose plays, read the quarterback, read the receiver. That time, the safety did it all. That's why he was in great position to knock the football away. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. Flacco from the shotgun. And the quarterback is taken down. It is truly a bonus when you can take your outside linebacker and let him rush the quarterback and he can get a sack. Nice job that time by the outside linebacker. going to be a delay of game penalty. Offense. Still fourth down. They're set to punt it away now. He's going to try and return this punt. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Takes a knee. The Ravens, one timeout remaining. Lines up here. 
It's the old Marino play. A fake spike and looking to throw. Jacoby Jones from the 28. The tackle is made. First down here. The throw to the left. And it's incomplete. Just couldn't hold on to it after the hit. Good job that time, Jim, by the defender. He hit that receiver so hard that football came flying out. That's why it's incomplete. The big hit by the defender. Move from the tight end position to the slot. That'll be five yards. Delay of game. Delay of game. Offense. Still second down. Is usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. The Seahawks signal for a timeout. They have two remaining. And Rice is in the slot, not in the backfield for this play. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. Drop back, shotgun formation. Flacco flings it way down the field. No one's going to get him now. And in for the touchdown. There's a nice touchdown there, and you're chipping away at that lead. Try to get into the minds of the opponent. Will they get tight? Did you hear the word choke? Yeah, I think they could be choking over there on the other side. Look out. Here we go, here we go. Lining up now for the two-point conversion. Going to drop back. So they give up the touchdown, but they do not allow the two-point play. Yeah, good job that time by the defense. So quick and so ready for that play. They reacted very fast. That's why they stopped it. Uh, this is one here where you had to just hold your breath because just after one touchdown was scored, there would be another one shortly right behind it. A high-scoring affair and a memorable day indeed. It really was. How exciting, really. The, the gym, it just, it was just, you said it, one big play after another, but it happened because both of these teams, man, do they have some superstars.